enjoying your morning. I bet you are. It's nice and cool. It's cloudy. Welcome, guys. We're going to have a different day. Well, it is a different day, technically. So I got some things planned. Let's see what we're going to do. We're in the dog yard. That's where we're at. And today, we're going to knock a few things off the list. And this monstrosity has been on my list. We're going to tear it down today. I'm also going to get the pruners and cut these trees out of this fence. Probably do that first before we start tearing that down. So I'm going to tear this down and I'm going to chunk the stuff over the hill and take it to the burn pile. Now that's not going to be the fun part. But we need to get this out of here and we'll call this number one on the list for today. We'll see how many we can knock out. Next, another one is picking up this metal over here kind of organizing over there a little bit obviously quit telling me to halt boy that bugs you guys don't it that scrap metal pile every comment or every video that that's shown why don't you take that to the scrap yard if you live in the country everybody has a scrap pile you don't haul it when you got 50 pounds or 100 pounds you wait till you got a truckload and that stuff's overgrown in there it ain't bothering me don't let it bother you. It does. It bothers some of you guys. I don't understand. You can't see it. It's out of sight, out of mind. You know, there ain't a person around with acreage that doesn't have a scrap pile. I know. It's hard to comprehend for some people, but that's the way it is. So anyway, I'm going to get it organized. Got to have a truckload. And there's probably one by now. But right now, let's get this going. All right, Lily, I'm going to need you guys to stay out of the way. I'm going to tear this old doghouse down. And oh, that old doghouse has been here all your life. That's 10 years old. Yeah, and you're nine. You're almost 10. You'll be 10 in November. You will. No, you'll be nine. You'll be nine, I think. Yeah, I got you in uh, 14. November of 14. All right, that should be all the tools I need. A B... A H a sawzall and a pry bar. So let's get after it. We can knock this one out, we can get to another one. Well shoot. Cut this without cutting the fence. Cut you, I expect you to be cut. Oh, Waldo. Don't mess with the camera. <clears throat> Why do you guys dig holes everywhere? Dude, I don't need you puppy dogs out here. I just don't. No, your big old clumsy butt's gonna knock my camera over. All right, now I can start throwing this old doghouse. Are you gonna help? I highly doubt that. All right. These people, we gotta turn these people around, boy. So they can see your doghouse. All right, let's start ripping this dude up. And I don't want you guys around here because there could be screws and whatnot and such. Yeah, that's right, Lily, be scared. Ha -hoo -ha. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this would be gravy and messy. I wonder how many snakes are living under there. You got two monsters living under there, Waldo? I don't want you guys around here because there could be screws. There's no weight to that. 
Quagga, quagga. I might be able to rip it down with my bear horns. My bear horns. Man, there ain't nothing left of this stuff. <laughs> Get you guys where you can see me. So I'm doing some antics over here. You don't want to miss that. Oh. The inside looks pretty good. It's a lousy roof. It had a metal roof. I took it off for something. And, uh, because they weren't using it. And then once I took the metal off, then they started using it. No friends in there. Waga booga, who got no got. Oh! Tools. Who needs tools? Ah. That's cool. Less pieces, the better. Oh, yeah, bug -a -bug. Get out of here. Uh -uh. There's screws. You don't need to be over here. You puppy dogs don't listen. Well, they'll get. Well, I may have require my first tool. The B-A-H. You know what that stands for, boy? Big ass hammer. Get. You don't need this. All you dogs use this, huh? But it's gotta go. Ooh, I fell through the floor, so yeah. The inside ain't so good. Oh. Well, this is gonna take all of about 10 minutes. I gotta go over it with a magnet. I want you guys to stay away from here. Then get all the screws up. Get this out. Love tear, tear things up. Just love it. Destruction. Huh? That's going to be a little on the heavy side. Yes, it is. Oh. Well, let's get that out of the way for now. You think stuff's living under here, boy? Get out of here, there's screws. There's screws. I know what you want in there. You want to dig in that fresh dirt. It's virgin dirt to you. Because that's always been here. Get out of here. Am I going to have to lock you in the dog apartment? I'll make sure there's no creatures. I think they'd be gone by now. All right, we're gonna have to tear this apart little at a time. All right, guys, it's the boring part.
do 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 do. That took all of 10 minutes. Now I'm checking with the magnet. Getting any metal off the ground so they don't step on it. Because he's already been over here digging in the dirt. I knew he would. It's fresh dirt, man. All right, boy. All that time I looked at that thing, said I'm gonna tear that down soon. Took 10 minutes. It's a roly poly boy. It's pretty clean. I'm gonna come in here with a rake. This magnet's pretty good about getting stuff up. Oh, well, there was a nail, a screw. All right. It's all yours, boy. You may eat all the dirt you want. Dig in it, poop in it, whatever. I don't care. Do what dogs do in dirt. I'm putting flavoring on it. That's what this is. Yeah, you know, putting. I'm seasoning the dirt for you. Oh, oh. See, that's why I said you gotta wait till Daddy gets it done. I'll go over it time and time again. All right, guys. Oh, right. I'm gonna go over this really good, and then I'll. We'll move on to the next project. All right, it's all gone. Took 10 minutes. That was it. Now, the fun task of taking all that, and I'm not gonna start another project till that is removed. Gotta haul it over to the fire pit. So, uh, cause if I don't move it now, guess what? It'll be there six months from now. So let's do it. Day downtown LA Where I met her on an elevator on its way or Up to the hotel room of my fiance But I never made it there Cause she come tearing through my life like a tornado Coming on hotter than a big potato She spin me around and see you later Wanna hate her but I love her instead into this room tonight I'd say baby won't you come tearing through my life like a tornado coming on hotter than a big potato she spin me around and see you later on a hater but another instead I want a hater but another instead a ah, couple more loads we're done there problem alleviated you can see better now huh boy and you still got one dog house that you guys never use I should get rid of that and your shade shelter and Lily uses the shade shelter oh who do we got here who do we got here uh, you were on the deck and then I started throwing stuff in the fire pit you didn't like that Miss Tilly Tillerson of Tillerville. 
Are you a till Tillervite? A Tillervonian? Is that what you are? Uh, no, get your head padded. All right, as soon as I get that put in the fire pit, which most of it is, I'm gonna come over here and start picking this stuff up. Put it in one stack, preferably behind here. And might have to move that wah, dryer somewhere. At least get this stuff in one big pile. Uh, I'm keeping this metal, so yeah, this is not junk. It's very useful. Uh, those can go in a truck, throw in a dumpster, those coolers. I need to take these tires into town. That's two bucks a piece, but I'm glad to pay it to get them out of here. Now, them's all tires I found back in here when I cleared this land. And in fact, 90% of this stuff that's in this pile back here came from all in here. So it's not something I created. And a lot of it's fencing, old fencing, uh, that stupid pull ladder. That's aluminum. And there's a couple of aluminum chairs. So, see, there's really not a whole truckload yet. That window back there, I don't know what to do with that. But a lot of this plastic crap would go in the garbage. There's a tomato cage. I could still use that. That old wheelbarrow scrap. Yeah, them old steel doors are scrap. We'll make a load to the dump. That's the, the other problem. There's hardly any scrap yards around here. And when we when they are open, then they're wishy-washy. You don't know when they're open, when they close, whatever. All right. All right. All the evidence of it is gone. All cleaned up. I see why I'm having water issues here. When it rains, the water's sloping down here, and it's got that big mound. Of course, I did that last year, and it's heading that way. So I really need to bring in a couple loads of dirt and fill this all in here uh, that would certainly help and maybe slope it this way a little bit have it just go down that way that's what we need to work on all right that i don't know what i'm gonna do with that yet certainly don't need another barrel and i got a big big pile of back in the fire pit but it's far too windy today i'm not lighting that up today no way, no how. So, also today, after I do this metal over there, I'm going to dig these sage plants up, repot them into some buckets. They'll be fine. Uh, I haven't watered these in two months. You don't even have to ever water them. They just, they'll live naturally all winter. Them didn't die last winter. And I'll probably plant, dig up this uh, oregano. Then I'm going to get these out of here. And then the only thing is find somewhere to put these ladders. And all I'll have left are these fence posts, which I'm going to do something with soon. Get these tomato cages out of here. Get my yard back back here. All right, but first we're going to go over there. I'm going to rest for a minute. We're going to organize this a little bit in here. Ah, it's just become a mess. You know, I take these scraps and I put them on pallets and I'm going to save them. And why? I don't do anything with them. So I'm going to load some of this crap up and get rid of it. So we're gonna work in, uh, I don't know if I wanna tackle that wood pile. There's still good treated wood in there, two by fours and whatever, but obviously that's no good, some of it. We'll relocate it. <laughs> uh, that old table, why am I saving that? I've had that thing 15 years. Ain't much left of it. We'll get something done with it. Those are good two by fours. All right. All right, I got a little out of order. I started on this before I do the metal, but uh, it don't matter. I got all that weed eated around the dog kennel. I'm gonna use that dog kennel for my winter storage. I'm gonna put these ladders in there and these tomato cages. I've already put a few other things in there like my garden hose and that. It'll be fine for the winter. And in spring, maybe we'll figure out what to do with that. Who knows where we'll be in the spring. So let me get this done. I'll be back. Is this daggum thing recording? It is. All right, where's my shovel? Uh, there's my shovel. Yeah, let me put a little dirt in these buckets. Can you dig it? I can dig it, dig it. You can dig it, dig it. We can dig it. Can you dig it? Oh, that's some tough stuff, man.
Uh, how many times I'm gonna move my garden? I don't know. Until I find the perfect place, I guess. Well, come on out. All right, don't, don't let me stop. You got my job all. Come on now. Trucks. One more. That wasn't one. Well, all right. Let's get a little scoop from this one. All right, come on, little sage plants. To the burn pile with you guys. <clears throat> it's very sagey. Get you know, off there. Uh, let's see. Get on up in that bucket. We'll see you guys next spring. That's all I'm gonna do with you. Alright? Be happy with that. I might even give you some water. Alright, put some in this one. And then what I'll do, whatever's left, I'll just rake it out even where it sits. There's low spots. Well, look here, Mr. Frog. Did I wake you up? Hello? Are you alive? You are alive. Well, you're gonna have to find a new home, Slick. Well, he's lucky I didn't get him. And right, I'm gonna bring him over to the woods here. And free him. I shall name you Herman. Yeah, your eyes are open. Yeah, you're all right. Don't come back. Herman. What are you going to do with a Herman? Y'all are crooked and you're going to fall over. Oh, you guys never just, just never know where to go. Alright. A little more dirt. Hopefully Herman don't have no kids up in there. And let's dig you guys up. This stuff's so hardy, it ain't gonna hurt it. It won't even know. It's just not even gonna know. I didn't do anything with this stuff this year. Get in that bucket. And there you have it. Let's put you dudes right, ooh, you guys smell good. Put you dudes over here. Your bucket plants now, okay? Alright. And just get rid of this. Poor shoes. Alright guys, I'll come back when I get all this done. I'm not gonna worry about the oregano. I'll just plant new tomorrow, next year. Alright, that looks much better. Got all that picked up, raked out, everything, all the ladders moved, all that's left is those posts. They won't be there that long. I just gotta figure out what to do with that barrel. And the dirt that I dug out of here, I threw down there, raked it out level. So, did a little weed eating. I ain't gonna show that. Yesterday's video got no views. I know, one day of that's enough. Alright, so now I'm going to move on to here. My bender over is getting about worn out, but I got enough to... I think I'm just going to stack this in on, all on top of here, make that look a little neater. Uh, maybe put it right there, I don't know. 
A lot of that's good. These pieces aren't. I don't know. We'll, we'll use them for something. All right, let me get going on. pieces are all in one pile now that's fine I'm gonna leave that one alone so we got a couple stacks over here now I'm gonna get these things and throw them in the uh, truck and really can't move that thing right now it's fine there until I load it I may just take a separate trip take some of that big stuff like that ladder and that dryer and yeah I'm gonna throw all this stuff out I'm not going to use it in my garden next year. I didn't use it this year. That barrel is going to be fun to move because that thing is all rusted up, full of junk. We'll get it out of here. Hopefully, get the, uh, I'm not even pointing at it. Hopefully, get the two wheeler under it and get it up in one piece. Man, them burn barrels, and I don't even have one anymore. I just use the fire pit because they don't last more than a year. They're so cheap now, like everything. Oh, waddles. We over here, yay. Getting things cleaned up, huh? And I don't feel like tackling this today. My back's about shot. And most of this in here, I think is gonna have to go in the burn pile. No sense of moving that till I got a fire going. Oh, that's pretty much rotted. I'd like to get all this cleaned up in here. So that's probably gonna come as soon as all that stuff dies off. Man, what are these things? With the purple berries. Oh, yeah. I don't remember what they're called, but I don't, uh, I haven't had any of those this year. Yeah, purple berry plants is what they're called. All right, there's a lot of plumbing stuff in here. It needs to go to a dumpster, too, so I'm going to go ahead and gather this stuff up. Get it out of here. It's looking better. Looking a lot better. Even after one day, this couple days, this stuff's starting to come down and when this stuff dies off then I'll go in there with the string trimmer and get stuff like that it'll all die too but I don't want big wads of grass laying around and we got to get these stumps worked on get them out of here you drag that over to the fire pit that limb well I've got one going there might as well burn there again you girls being good today you like this kind of weather huh yeah she's got her things you know, there's things she does, and she's doing them. Oh. All right, guys, let's go around. I got about four things off the list today. That's pretty good. We got the dog, that old dog house down. Yeah, let's go through. Waldo will tell you. Where'd that old dog house go, boy? Huh? Oh, I've been wanting that out of here for so long. Still got to figure out what to do with that. Uh, got all that mess cleaned up in there. Got those dug up, repotted. Got those old potters out of there. Found another frog. If you guys seen that frog I showed you in the uh, one clip, there was another one on the other side. Didn't hurt him either. Uh, he went under them posts. And then we got the tin all picked up over here. Oh, I'm starting to get in, uh, getting used to it now. The more I get out and work, the better it is. That looks a far cry better. Yes, the stuff's still there, but got this nice open area. And I've just been taking uh, the weed eater, going around the buildings. If the battery went dead or I'd still be doing it. Went around in here, hit the, some weeds. Just getting them, the tall things knocked down. Got around that tree stump. I almost hit that tree stump back and into, backed into it yesterday. Because the weeds were covering it up. Not no more. I got it all weed-eated around the house. I dug out where my 
French drain is. That's where the FedEx driver ran it over. So now I got to get like a stick or something and try to pry that back up or dig that out a little bit. I think it'll be fine. We haven't had a big enough rain since to, to tell. And let's go see Rooster. She's out of here. Got around her fence. The battery went dead and I don't have another one charged up. I need to fix these steps. Uh, the one back board collapsed on me. Oh, you're in this chair. Why well, would I never know to look for you there? That, that seems like a good chair. You'll probably be out all day today, won't you? Because it's nice. And we're going to come see you guys. What do you think about that new dirt? You can come right out your door. You don't have to turn. You can run straight out. You like that, Lily? Yeah. You got anything to say to the fine folks? What about woof woof? You don't have nothing to say to him? You always got something to say. You don't have nothing to say. Oh yeah, I gotta get these, uh, I'm out rest a bit. I ain't gonna film that. I need to start editing this thing. But uh, I need to get those trees out of there. And that big old weed in the corner, poke weed. That's been there all summer. I don't know why, every year it grows there. Gotta yank it out by the roots, I guess. <laughs> Still gotta get up in there. Well, hey, I, I'm happy. We got a bunch done today, so hope I didn't bore you guys too much. But like I said, man, we got to film it. Just time is precious. And 50% of my revenue will be going to Furry Tales Rescue. Uh, this channel's doing pretty good. The other channel, not so much, but it's small. So it don't you don't get the big advertisers like you do when you get you know over like 5,000 subscribers you don't get any good good ads until you're at least over 5,000 but I mean they, they're not going to get rich off of it unless one of these videos goes viral doubt that's going to happen but you never know all right guys thanks for watching uh we will see you tonight on the other channel got a clue what I'm gonna do on there yet but uh we'll be on there happy trails